Reports are that Tesla are just ramping up right now with new production lines for the Model 3 Highland version in both China and in Fremont. It's imminent. It's here. It's going to be, well, it's going to take about this long until we see the Highland version come out of Tesla's production line. I'm going to give you my estimate on when the Highland will be produced, therefore when you can actually buy one. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Sorry for the emaciated skeleton-like look. I've actually literally lost five kilos, so about nearly 11 pounds in weight over the past two days because of some crazy, I mean, really crazy food poisoning. It's I've never had anything like this. I've had food poisoning quite a few times, never anything this bad. I actually considered recently, should I go to the hospital, get a drip or something? But um, anyway, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm out of the bathroom here to tell you this news. And it's actually really good news. There's a few things going on here because not only are we seeing production of the Highland coming out of the factory in China very soon and Fremont very soon, we're also seeing some big changes announced in China. Some of them haven't really been talked about yet. I'll get onto those in a second. Big changes to, into, to do with battery production. Two different types of battery cells being produced in China, apparently. Expansion going on as well. And of course, like I said, the Highland is about to come. So what are we going to see with the Highland? Well, I think we're going to see some pretty significant changes. People are saying it's a refresh. I keep saying it's not a refresh when you've got 20 different changes to the car. Uh, that's more like a redevelopment. That's what I think. I mean, it's sort of like really you see manufacturers come out with refreshes when they just change a couple of little style items of the car, you know, a couple of little interior features, and that's called a refresh. This is a lot more than that. A lot more has happened here. Tesla is right now preparing for significant changes and upgrades to its Model 3 production lines at the Fremont factory in California. The company has filed for the complete removal and destruction of multiple equipment, tools, and utilities, which says or suggests the installation of new manufacturing lines is imminent. This is for Fremont. The motive behind these changes is, of course, related to the upcoming 2023 Model 3 refresh, internally known as Project Highland. Elon Musk has previously mentioned the elimination of unnecessary parts and streamlining production to enhance efficiency. The use of single piece casting appears possible. Some people say it's not, others say it is, I believe it is. Optimization of battery technology and potential advancements and changes to around 20 different areas of the car, which I talked about in a separate video, I'll put a link in the description to that video, show that the production efficiency for the new Model 3 will be significant. I believe the car will be lighter more efficient and have more range. I'm calling it here now 10% more range. That's my prediction. Tesla are focusing on refining their manufacturing lines and that aligns with the company's goal of delivering more affordable electric vehicles to a wider consumer base. Basically, it's saying to the competition, yeah, you do whatever you want to do, but we're going to produce EVs at a lower cost than you. That's really what Tesla are aiming for here. Efficiency in production, but also efficiency in terms of giving you the best vehicle for money. I think that's what Tesla really are doing right now, providing really good value for money. The Shanghai Gigafactory in China is also involved in production of the Model 3. The facility is reportedly nearing the final stages of trial production for a redesigned Model 3 variant specifically tailored for the Chinese market. In fact, apparently there's been vehicles actually go down the production line in China. I can't confirm if that's true, People are saying that according to rumors coming out of China. And there's a moratorium on this. People are not allowed to go. Staff at the factory apparently are not allowed to take their phones in there. So yeah, it sounds like the, the vehicles are actually possibly even being produced right now as you watch this video. Now the revamped Model 3 is said to feature a slightly elongated design, sporty appearance and upgraded interior. I think the front lights look a bit like the Roadster lights. A little bit like the, a combination, a cross between the Model S lights and the Roadster lights. In my opinion, in my opinion, it's a big, big improvement over the previous design. But that's just my personal taste. Everyone's different. Let me know what you think about the looks of it in the comments. As Tesla expands its production capacity in Shanghai, it is seeking regulatory approval. Now, this is quite interesting for the production of pouch-type batteries 
and it aims to increase production of 4680 cylindrical battery cells as well in Texas. But there's word, there's word that Tesla apparently is planning on producing pouch cells at the Gigafactory in Shanghai. Now, what Tesla are using these pouch cells for, nobody knows. In fact, everyone is speculating, but nobody really has any idea what the purpose of the cells are. Now, these developments indicate Tesla's commitment to advancing battery technology and, of course, exploring different cell formats. Pouch cells are a very different format to cylindrical cells, possibly to enhance performance and efficiency. I mean, Tesla has mentioned in the past, they see that they believe that pouch cells are not very good for thermal runaway, other reasons. Uh, I'm not, I'm, that's why I'm curious to know. What do you think? What are your thoughts on this? Let me know. What do you think about Tesla going into possibly developing pouch cells? Overall, the changes and upgrades in Tesla's production lines in Fremont and in China for the Model 3 reflect the company's continuous efforts to innovate, to improve their manufacturing processes, and deliver compelling electric vehicles to meet the demands of an evolving market. What's the, what's the market doing? It's becoming more competitive, right? There's more competition. Prices are coming down. Tesla is driving some of the prices down. Competition will struggle with this. Why will they struggle? Because the reality here is they're all making a loss on EVs now, right? And I think Tesla really wants to continue, if they can, to possibly reduce prices. I think there'll be more price cuts, but probably not for the Highland this year, because demand for the Highland will, of, for this new model will, of course, spike. You're going to see significant increase in Model 3 deliveries this year because people are going to see this new model. They're going to say, hey, this is actually a significant step better than the previous model. That looks better. I want it. That's what I think is going to happen. Do you agree? Let me know if you agree. In addition to all this, we're going to see massively increased production. Outside of all the increased production we know about already, Tesla Giga Shanghai are planning an expansion to produce 1.75 million cars per year. In addition, Tesla want to create a trial production facility. In addition, Tesla has applied for and is seeking regulatory approval to expand Giga Shanghai according to an undated public notice. The factory could potentially expand its capacity to produce 1.75 million cars per year. That would make it the biggest car factory in the world, period. There would be nothing that size. I'm not talking EV factory, by the way. I'm just talking car factory, period. It's already, in fact, pretty much the biggest. It's a close race, but that would make it unquestionably the largest factory in the world. Now, whether or not the Chinese government will agree to this, yeah, that's a different story because it seems like Tesla has applied for other things recently in China. They've been knocked back by the government. So, yeah, hopefully this gets through. Currently, the production capacity at Gigafactory Shanghai is about 1.25 million vehicles. Now, the, the notice of this application has actually been posted on the website of the district where Giga Shanghai is located. According to the notice, Tesla is seeking regulatory approval for, for the production of pouch-type batteries, plus it wants to expand the factory. There's quite a lot going on right now. I think we probably underestimate the potential for Tesla to really dominate electric car sales for the remainder of the year, because not only are they leading by a mile with the Model Y, I mean, Model Y is leading every global car market in the world. In fact, from what I can see, the Model Y is the best-selling car worldwide this year. Model 3 is quite a long way behind, but this will give it a big boost. It could start to kind of really jump up and become the second best-selling car this year. It's, it is possible... Tesla could have the first best-selling car period in the world, possibly the fourth or fifth best-selling car period in the world with the Model 3 by the time this year is over. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.